Since I was 14 years old, it's always been my dream to be a YouTuber. We have just hit 10 thousand subscribers and at such a young age my dream was becoming a reality fast by the time i was 17 i had 20,000 subscribers and i knew if i kept this up i would be on my way to achieving that dream by the time i'm 20 years old i'm 21 now and it's almost been four years since i hit 20,000 subscribers and over six years since i hit 1,000. growth these last three years have been slower than ever and to some i'm a failed youtuber but to me i think everything has happened exactly how it's supposed to let me explain. You know that quote, luck is when preparation meets opportunity? Yeah, well, luck weirdly happened to me when I wasn't prepared. You see, I grew a lot of my audience filming gaming videos at around 15 years old when I simply wasn't ready. I gained lots of subscribers, started getting views, but had no actual plan. And at that age, you have no idea what you really want to do with your life. In fact, it doesn't even cross your mind. You just see the numbers and continue trying to make viral hits. At 16 years old, I began reaching an extremely large audience and earning money that I never expected to be making online at that age. Everything was going incredibly well. I thought this was my big break. And then before you know it, you're grown up and stuck, chasing views in a niche that you don't particularly want to do anymore and talking to an audience that you've completely lost connection with. And rightfully, your views drop. I was just about to complete school at this time and I literally thought the dream of becoming a YouTuber was now impossible. Especially when at that age, I needed to decide which path I wanted to take. Was I going to university? Was I going to find a normal nine to five? Or was I going to take a year out whilst working part time and try and really make this dream come true? I picked the third option and without looking back, grinded for an entire year. When I wasn't working my part time job, I was doing the craziest videos, standing still for 24 hours, sitting on a toilet for too long, trying to fly with umbrellas. And at this point, I began seriously growing on TikTok. So much, in fact, that I went from 100 thousand followers to over 500,000 in that year alone and finally felt like my dream was alive again. And then the end of the year came. I had 500,000 followers and began seriously gaining some traction on YouTube, but the TikTok dream of having all these followers didn't seem to be as good as I thought it would be. I was earning good money, but not enough for it to become a full-time job at that point. And I was hating my part-time job, so a decision had to be made. It was time to get a normal job and in this moment I felt like my whole dreams were crushed. I was never going to achieve my real passion of being a YouTuber but really this is where everything started for me. Because of my past experience with making YouTube videos and because of that year out grinding out TikTok videos, I landed myself into one of my dream jobs, a social media journalist and digital creator. And it made everything that I worked for in the past completely worthwhile. The effort that I put into my YouTube channel, the reason I took that year out, all finally paid off at just 20 years old. I found a way into an extremely competitive industry which I'd always wanted to pursue a career in, the media industry. The long, long path that it took me to get here finally all made sense and it was all coming together. I now understand exactly what I want from posting online. I'm ready for when preparation meets opportunity again and I'm going to take full advantage on that when that comes back to me. And I want to leave you with this. In the moment it literally feels like none of this is going to be worth your time. You're completely wasting all of your efforts trying to make something happen. But little do you know, all you're doing is writing your chapter one. Soon, when it comes to your chapter five or chapter six, it will all come together and completely make sense to you. I'm still on chapter six. I've probably got about 30, 40, maybe 50, 60, 70, 80 chapters to go. My main message is just don't give up like I am. If I can keep going, so can you. Take care.